Welcome! Well, look what I've got here. A pretty big box that's got two items in. This is an order that I made the other week from Funko Europe. Couple of impulse purchases, really, but when you send me out an email that says we're doing buy one, get one free today, then uh, you got to tempt me to have a look, see what's available. And there wasn't an awful lot in the buy one, get one free section that I wanted, but I found one thing that'll go really well in my collection and you'll have seen in recent videos. I've got a few of these lately, and this is one that has been tempting me and catching my eye for a couple of months or so now. And the other thing is kind of a variation on something that I've already got, but that's also a first in my collection, and you'll see why I want to get it open. Right, here's the trusty yellow knife. Let's have a nice serenade of this here sexy blade. I'm free to be whatever I, whatever I choose when I'll sing the blues if I want. I'm free to be whatever I, whatever I like it, it's alright, it's alright. Alright, and now let us have a silly Woo! I'm hoping that didn't peek my mic out like it did a couple of days ago. We'll see. Let's get this open. So with buy one get one free was the cheapest item that was free. One of the items was 25, the other 20. Essentially 25 pound for both things, which is a bargain really. And Funko Europe's standard postage rate is £4.25, I believe. Let's see how they've done for packaging. Pretty well, by the look of it. Lots of brown paper. Aha! I'm going to show you this thing that was right on the top last, actually. Aha! So, yeah, this is the first for me. What I've got to show you here is my very first pop and tea combo. Never got a Funko t-shirt before, let alone with a Funko Pop along with it as well. And of course, this is a Chester Cheetah from the Cheetos brand Ad Icon set. So, let's get this open straight away. Comes in a nice box. The t-shirt is size medium. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm the sort of guy who's not been able to wear a medium t-shirt in about the last 30 years. I got this because, well, A, it was one of the few things in the buy one get one free promotion that caught my eye, and B, um, I'm going to give the t-shirt to my eldest daughter. She is really into t-shirts, like sort of cool, funny t-shirts at the moment, and she loves Cheetos as well, so perfect really. Uh, we'll have a little look at the shirt first. I don't think Funko do any of these shirts in my size, but I mean, my eldest is pretty tall. Normally, when I do buy a shirt, I do get medium, but I'm wondering if I should have maybe gone large for this. Perhaps Funko kind of undersized their stuff, I don't know. But um, it's a really nice shirt, certainly. All you can say about it, really, is it's got the Cheetos logo and Chester on it. But, um, marvellous. So, yep, that's the shirt. I'm going to give that to Emily later on. Now for the pop. As you know, I love ad icons. And here is the glow in the dark Chester Cheetah. Now then, those of you with a good memory will know I've already got a Chester Cheetah pop. I got him oh, about a year ago, maybe slightly under. Just the common. I'm trying to think where I got that from. I can't remember now. <laughs> I've bought so much over the past, tw well, longer than 12 months, really. And in fact, here is the common pop. Um, so I'm one character per series. Yes, I have got a Chester Cheetah soda figure, but that's a different um, collection altogether for me. So when it comes to actual pops themselves, I just get one character each. So um, what am I going to do with the common Chester? I don't know, to be honest. I'll tell you what I'll do. Anyone who wants this, just leave me a comment down below. I'll pick a comment at random at some point and uh, I'll get in touch and I'll send this to you if you want this. Just not a giveaway anything just call it an act of kindness so if you do want the common chester for your collection then uh, make sure to leave me a comment that's all you need to do right so i'm not going to get this glow in the dark chester out although what i will do and i'll put it on screen right now i'll get it out later on i'll go into my bedroom where it's dark and i'll get the old uv torch out alistair from stormcore nearly pooed his pants the other day 
when he got a free UV torch, or it, was it free, or did he pay like a pound? I can't remember. What they also have done, and I didn't buy this, is they've included a PP Joe UV torch. Now, this is something that I've been really wanting to pick up, not specifically from them, but in general, purely because I've got so many glow-in-the-dark box that realistically I can't get to light up for ship. So thank you uh, so much. Anyway, so you'll see how well he glows, I have no idea. Is there any difference design-wise between the common and the glow in the no i think they're both in the same pose really a little bit of an upgrade i suppose i do like glow in the dark pops didn't really need this but i thought with the shirt the pop and then i'm getting something else for free i thought overall it was a pretty good deal two funko figures and a shirt all for 25 pound can't be bad and box is in great condition not sure if i'll save this out of box it's pretty nice very colorful but I'll chuck it over there for now. So that was Glow in the Dark Chester Cheetah. Now, the other thing, this, and this will be the free thing, technically, but I was so excited to get this. Doesn't, well, it does fit my collection, um, but you'll, oh, I'm just going to show you. Oh, wow, check this out. Number two. I didn't realise it was number two, actually. In the Pop Albums line, this is Black Sabbath with their self-titled album. Their debut album from, I want to say, 1970. Wow, I mean, check that out. I don't think it's coming across massively well in this light. Just this background that shows the album sleeve. You know what a fan I am of these pop albums. I seem to have got quite a few of these in recent weeks. And admittedly, this has kind of broken my rules because I've not got any Black Sabbath in my record or music collection at the moment. I've been looking at this album, actually, to get it on vinyl record lately, but because I'd not took the plunge on the pop yet, the pop album, I'd not taken the plunge on the record either. So uh, I think I may have to get the Black Sabbath album into my collection soon. And as I always say, if I do get that, I'll show that in a music collecting update video that I do from time to time on this channel. Wow, absolutely marvellous. I mean, check out this ghostly ethereal lady here with this sort of almost luminescent green skin tone here and a black dress, long dark brown hair. I mean, a really cool album cover, this. I love the pop albums, I keep saying it. Um, it's like I'm evangelising about them, really, because I just think they're so nice. Such a good line from Funko. I think because the pop albums have taken off pretty well, they're bringing out kind of similar sets where you get like a figure in a hard case and it's nice to display it, maybe wall mount it. We've got the uh, holes on the back there so that you can wall mount it and keep the card slip case on. But Funko are bringing out the Pop Comics, which look a really nice line. I've, I've only seen a glam shot for the first one, which is Superman, I think. That's nice, where you've got like a cover of the comic book in the background, like you've got a cover of the album sleeve in the background here. And I think they're doing the same for video games now as well. That doesn't particularly interest me. The comics don't massively interest me, but I think they probably will end up looking nicer. But um, I know a lot of people are into old video games, new video games, just gaming in general. So uh, that's probably going to be a popular line. And if Funko can make them as good quality as these pop albums, then I think these comics and video game collections that are coming out are going to do pretty well. Okay, so there we are. Couple of impulsive, but I would say brilliant purchases from Funko Europe. We've got... Glow in the dark Chester Cheetah there, who I'm going to swap out for the common. And like I say, if you want the common pop, then uh, leave me a comment. I'll pick one at random if uh, enough of you are down there saying that you'd like it. Yeah, this is the uh, jewel in the crown here today the Black Sabbath pop album. That is absolutely magnificent. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Funko Pop unboxing. Special thanks go, as always to my subscribers and my beautiful, generous patrons. You're all fantastic. Don't forget, I've got all my Funko affiliates and my Patreon link, Facebook group link, any link that involves me or what I do or the discounts and affiliates that I've got going on, all that stuff down in the description text box. I've also got an affiliate link now 
for Urban Jungle Insurance. That's well worth having if you're a collector of anything, basically, or you've just got expensive items in your home that aren't insured. You need insurance, people. I don't want to come on here being an insurance salesman every single time now, but um, it is a sensible and wise thing to do when you're a collector, is get your contents insured. I'm going to go now, put glow-in-the-dark Chester Cheetah into a pop protector, and also find somewhere to display this magnificent Black Sabbath pop album. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya!